Welcome back, I'm Val, and today we're breaking down the male reproductive system bilingually. This isn't just anatomy, we'll cover the essential medical Spanish and English terms you need as a healthcare professional. For every organ, process, and condition, you'll get the name and explanation in both languages. Whether you're learning medical Spanish or English, this guide will help you communicate clearly and compassionately with patients. We'll cover anatomy, key processes, and common conditions. So grab your notebook. Let's get started. Ah, uh, let's start our exploration of the male reproductive system. We'll be diving into the key components that make this intricate system function. Understanding these organs is crucial for grasping the overall process of reproduction and the factors that can influence it. With the main organs, we'll take a closer look at each one, examining their structure and their specific roles in the reproductive process. Testiculos, or testes, are the primary male reproductive organs. These paired organs are essential for male sexual development and fertility. They produce sperm, the male reproductive cells, and testosterone, the primary male sex hormone. Testosterone is responsible for the development of male characteristics and plays a vital role in sperm production. Los testículos producen esperma y testosterona. Sperm, of course, is critical for fertilization, and testosterone influences everything from muscle mass to bone density and even mood. Escroto, or scrotum. This is a pouch of skin that holds the testes, providing them with a protective environment. It's located outside the body cavity for a very important reason. It regulates temperature. Maintaining the correct temperature is crucial for sperm production. El escroto regula la temperatura de los testículos. This temperature regulation is essential for the health and viability of sperm. Epididimo, or epididimis. This is a coiled tube located on the back of each testicle, where sperm mature and are stored. Think of it as a finishing school for sperm. El epididimo almacena y madura los espermatozoides. It's where they develop the ability to swim and fertilize an egg. Conducto deferente or vas deferens. This tube transports sperm from the epididimis to the ejaculatory ducts which eventually lead to the urethra. El conducto deferente transporta los espermatozoides. It's a crucial part of the pathway for sperm to exit the body. Vesículas seminales or seminal vesicles. These glands produce a fluid that nourishes sperm, providing them with energy and helping them to move. Las vesículas seminales nutren a los espermatozoides. This fluid is a key component of semen prostata or prostate. This gland adds a protective fluid to semen, helping to neutralize the acidity of the female reproductive tract and prolonging sperm survival. La prostata añade un líquido protector al semen. This fluid is essential for successful fertilization. Pin or penis. This is the organ for urination and sexual intercourse, delivering sperm into the female reproductive tract. El pene es el órgano para la micción y la relación sexual. It plays a vital role in both reproduction and waste elimination. Now let's delve into the fascinating world of male reproductive processes. We're going to explore the key functions and mechanisms that define the male reproductive system. We will examine how these organs work together in perfect harmony to facilitate reproduction and maintain overall health. Understanding these processes is crucial for comprehending male fertility and addressing potential health concerns. Espermatogenesis Spermatogenesis this is the cornerstone of male fertility. It's the intricate process of sperm production in the testes, a continuous cycle that ensures a constant supply of male gametes. This process involves a series of cell divisions and transformations, ultimately leading to the formation of mature sperm cells. La espermatogenesis ocurre en los testículos. This complex process takes place within the seminiferous tubules, the functional units of the testes. Erection. Erection a vital function for sexual reproduction. During an erection, blood fills the penis, causing the erectile tissues to engorge and making it rigid, enabling penetration during sexual intercourse. This process is carefully regulated by the nervous system and hormones. Una erección es cuando el pene se pone rígido. This physiological response is essential for sexual function and reproduction. Eyaculación, ejaculation, the culmination of sexual arousal. During ejaculation, semen is expelled from the penis, carrying sperm towards the female reproductive tract. This process is controlled by muscular contractions and nerve impulses. La eyaculación es la liberación de semen. This is a critical step in the reproductive process. Semen, the vehicle for sperm delivery. Semen is a complex fluid containing sperm and nourishing fluids that provide energy and protection to the sperm cells as they travel towards the egg. The composition of semen is crucial for sperm viability and fertilization. El semen contiene espermatozoides y líquidos nutritivos. 
These fluids are essential for sperm survival and motility. Mition, urination, a necessary bodily function. Urination involves expelling urine through the urethra, removing waste products from the body, and maintaining fluid balance. This process is regulated by the bladder and sphincter muscles. La mixión es el acto de orinar. This is a vital process for maintaining overall health. Vasectomia, vasectomy, a surgical option for contraception. A vasectomy is a surgical procedure to prevent sperm from entering semen, providing a highly effective form of male contraception. It involves cutting and sealing the vas deferens, the tubes that carry sperm from the testis. La vasectomía es un método anticonceptivo masculino. It's a safe and reliable option for men who no longer wish to father children. Let's cover common conditions. We're going to delve into a range of ailments and issues that you're highly likely to encounter frequently in your medical career. Understanding these conditions thoroughly is crucial for providing effective and informed care to your patients. This section will serve as a foundational guide, equipping you with the knowledge to recognize, diagnose, and manage these common health challenges you'll see in practice. These are the conditions that walk through the door every day, the bread and butter of general practice and specialized clinics alike. From initial presentation to long-term management, familiarity with these conditions is paramount for any healthcare professional. We aim to provide a concise yet comprehensive overview, highlighting key aspects of each condition to aid in your clinical decision-making. Dysfunction erectile, erectile dysfunction, a condition that affects a significant portion of the male population. Inability to achieve or maintain an erection. This can stem from a variety of factors, including vascular issues, neurological problems, hormonal imbalances, or psychological factors. Understanding the underlying cause is crucial for effective treatment. La disfunción eréctil es la incapacidad de lograr una erección. Es un problema común que puede afectar la calidad de vida y la autoestima de un hombre. Es importante abordar este problema con sensibilidad y ofrecer opciones de tratamiento adecuadas. Hiperplasia prostática benigna, benign prostatic hyperplasia, a very common condition, especially as men age, non-cancerous prostate enlargement causing urinary symptoms. These symptoms can include frequent urination, difficulty starting or stopping urination, and a weak urine stream. La HPV es un agrandamiento no canceroso de la próstata. Este agrandamiento puede presionar la uretra y causar problemas urinarios, cáncer de próstata, prostate cancer a significant health concern for men, malignant growth in the prostate. Early detection through screening is crucial for improving outcomes. El cáncer de próstata es un crecimiento maligno en la próstata. La detección temprana y el tratamiento adecuado son esenciales para controlar la enfermedad. Torsión testicular, testicular torsion, a time-sensitive emergency, twisting of the spermatic cord, a medical emergency. This cuts off blood supply to the testicle, and requires immediate intervention to prevent irreversible damage. La torsión testicular es una emergencia médica. Requiere atención inmediata para evitar la pérdida del testículo. Cáncer testicular, testicular cáncer. A cancer that primarily affects younger men. Most common in young men often presents as a lump. Regular self-exams are crucial for early detection. El cáncer testicular suele presentarse como un bulto. Es importante que los hombres jóvenes realicen autoexámenes regulares para detectar cualquier anomalía. Prostatitis, a condition that can significantly impact a man's quality of life. Inflammation of the prostate, often painful. It can be caused by bacterial infection or other factors. La prostatitis es la inflamación de la próstata. Puede ser causada por una infección bacteriana o por otros factores no infecciosos. Varicocele, a condition that can affect male fertility. Enlarged veins in the scrotum can affect fertility. It's important to diagnose and manage this condition appropriately, especially in men who are trying to conceive. Un varicocele es la dilatación de las venas en el escroto. Puede afectar la producción de esperma y la fertilidad masculina. Hydrocele, hydrocele, a common cause of scrotal swelling, fluid, around a testicle, usually painless. While often benign, it's important to rule out other potential causes of swelling. Un hidrocele es una acumulación de líquido alrededor de un testículo. Generalmente no es doloroso, pero puede causar molestias debido al tamaño. Infertilidad masculina, male infertility, a complex issue with various contributing factors. Issues lowering the chance of conception. This can involve problems with sperm production, sperm quality, or sperm transport. A thorough evaluation is necessary to determine the underlying cause and guide treatment options. 
us that's your essential bilingual guide to the male reproductive system mastering these terms in both Spanish and English will help you provide better care and connect with more patients keep practicing every new word is a step toward breaking language barriers in healthcare if you found this helpful like share and subscribe for more bilingual medical content revisa la descripción para recursos adicionales y sigue aprendiendo see you in the next video